Tom is 35. Hello. Overall, he's a pretty good guy. He helps his sick mother. He often cooks for his wife, Mary. Huh? <laughs> he doesn't steal all the blankets, and he hardly ever snores. However, sometimes Tom has bad dreams. Recently, it seems Tom is making a mess in the kitchen, but Mary doesn't mind. Even when Tom encounters some difficulties in the bedroom, Mary still loves him just the same. Perhaps it's just a sign of aging. Over the past few years, Tom has been feeling rather down, and those shoulder aches might be related to a sports injury, but since Tom doesn't play sports, he decides to go for an orthopedic checkup. But the orthopedist doesn't see anything particularly wrong, so he refers Tom to a physiotherapist, who then refers him to a neurologist. Tom tells her about all the difficulties he's been having over the past few years, and how difficult it has been for him to take care of his mother. Why are you taking care of your mother, she asks. She has Parkinson's disease, he replies. Now the neurologist understands. The nightmares, the loss of smell, the impotency and depression. Tom has been showing early signs of Parkinson's for 20 years. Parkinson's is genetic among Ashkenazi people. More than one third of Ashkenazi Parkinson patients carry mutation in either the LRRK2 or the GBA genes. Moreover, the disease can be detected decades before the known motoric symptoms appear. Inside our brain cells, we find the important alpha-synuclein protein. When that protein is misfolded, it becomes toxic to the cell. Slowly, the aggregated toxic synuclein travel through the axon and to the cell body and kills the cell itself. The synuclein, in its toxic form, once released by the dead cell, is taken by neighboring cells to initiate a neurodegradation cascade in more cells. Within about 20 years, the entire brain is affected. World-leading researchers from the Tel Aviv Medical Center are monitoring more than 500 healthy first-degree relatives of Ashkenazi patients with genetic Parkinson's. They hope to detect the disease decades before the motoric symptoms first appear. Through early detection, the researchers are working on finding a cure or a vaccination to defeat this disease.